Hey, you guys. Welcome to my live. Thank you for coming. Hi, Hi. Jenny. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? Good, 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 good. Oh, my goodness. It's been a while. I know. Oh, my. Yeah, so for has. you guys that may not know this, Tammy gave you my first, like, sponsorship partnership opportunity what about two years ago yeah yes when i Almost. did your tour with you with your mm -hmm. fabulous fabric oh my goodness so thank you again for that of opportunity course. thank you you guys tonight we have tammy lee of dnh fabrics with us on live with faith and I absolutely adore tammy she is not only an awesome businesswoman she's a sweetheart and she is also a sister veteran. <laughs> so I want to welcome Tammy, you guys. Say hello, wave at her, throw some hearts up. Um, but thank you, Tammy, for being on our live today. We really appreciate you coming in. Of course. Thanks so much, Faith, for having me. I'm excited. Me too. I know this quarantine thing has gotten everybody like. <laughs> yes, it's, yeah, it's crazy. Right. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. It was my first day of homeschool and yeah. <laughs> I know. Behind the ear. I know. <laughs> yes, Miss yes. Anita. Miss Anita, it's her first time um hearing of you. And so yes, Miss Anita, she oh, is awesome. one of the sweetest and she's an awesome businesswoman with, with a fabulous line of fabric, which I'm gonna ask her a question later about how she chooses her fabric. But yeah, if you guys aren't following Tammy Please go ahead and follow her. Um, she is DNH Fabrics. Um, amazing person of great business and great fabric, you guys. If you're not following her, go ahead and follow her. Um, okay, Tim, so we're going to jump right in. Perfect. Let's go. Okay, so my first question is a question I ask everyone when we first come on is, when did you first start sewing? So I started sewing in about 2015, maybe 2016. I can't quite remember. I just had my second daughter. And uh, I was looking, and it was like one of those snowy winters, and I was looking for like we were looking for something to keep me busy. And yeah. so I, um, I just came across stuff on YouTube and was like, I'm gonna start sewing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, I, I know. Mean, that totally person? random. It is very random because, you know, a lot of us have that mm -hmm. story. We're like, well, you know, I was a stay-at-home mom or I just got out of mm -hmm. this or I wasn't doing anything. I said, let me try this. I mean, that's mm -hmm. pretty, yeah. And so then after you kind of started into it, you kind of just got bit by the bug and kept going, right? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I think that's what happens to everybody. It's like you just, you get bit by that sewing bug. And then yeah. when you finally complete your first project you're yeah. just like oh wow I can do this yeah. and then you just keep going down that rabbit hole and you learn new techniques and learn how to sew you know new things and it just it spirals into an amazing you know creative hobby oh my good well um and and I do know because one of my questions to you because you guys Tammy was in the military mm -hmm. um and so Tammy will you elaborate you were in the army correct I was in the Air Force the Air Force mm -hmm. okay woo woo yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll to all military I don't care right? if we're in the army we're yes. all working for the same purpose yeah um and so did that have any I thought at first that maybe that had something to do with your sewing but you just mm -mm. retired last year right. Yeah, I retired in um, October of 2019. Oh, wow. So you've been yeah. serving for a while, right? I did 20 years in oh, one wow. month. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. So what did you um, get out as, if you don't mind me asking? I got out as an E7. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is amazing. So you were up Thank there you. kind of like, soldier, get in line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so my next question for you, Tammy, is we do know you sell fabric. That is mm -hmm. your business right now. Mm -hmm. um, well, what kind of pushed into your love of fabric? Because I know we all sew, and then sewing and fabric combined together just, you know, it attaches itself. What pulled your love of fabric enough for you to decide, you know, I'm going to start selling it? 
So when I started sewing, obviously, I'd, I think I started where everybody else starts is quilting yeah. cotton, right? I was like, oh, I'm going to find and started making little bags because it's a square. And then I went yeah. to pillowcases because it's now yeah, that's a rectangle. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then I started looking for like free garment patterns and I was still utilizing quilting cotton. And then I found like the other stores that sell like online stores. I fell into the Facebook community of sewing. Yeah. And with that came like the Facebook, you know, kind of fabric shops and I was purchasing fabric from them and um, I would sew something up, I would wash it a couple of times and it would fall apart. And I'm like, okay, Mm -hmm. I spent all this time (laughs) making this and it's not staying. So, um, or it would just wash and fray and it just wasn't very good fabric. So I was like, you know what? And I'm a completely spontaneous, random person. I mean, it's the same thing with sewing, right? I was like, oh, I'm going to sew. And I just started sewing. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to sell fabric. (laughs) And so I opened a fabric store because I wanted to find quality garment fabric. I wanted to actually be able to spend my time making something, my blood, sweat, and tears, and then be able to wash it and wear it for as long as it fits me, right? And then go kind of go from there. And so that's exactly what I did was just started researching and started finding really good fabric lines that were just great quality and, and DNH was born. (laughs) I mean, that makes sense because I know I've had the thing where I first started sewing, but I was going to those warehouses and I had no fabric enough to know good Mm -hmm. quality from bad quality. So I was just buying all the pretty things and I was Mm -hmm. checking quality. And then after I made it, the next week it's faded or mm-hmm. this, it's just not holding together well. And then I started learning about fabric enough to where now I'm like, I'm going to spend this kind of time on it. I want it to last for a long time. Yeah. Because I mean, that is the importance of you sewing. If you're going to take your time and invest it, mm-hmm. you want it to last. Okay. So um, if, will you tell us a little about DNH fabric? So DNH fabric is um, just a small one person company. It's mm-hmm. me. Um, I source um, all the fabric from all over the world. Yeah. A lot of my stuff I get from Europe. I really like the European fabrics. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, and just put them up. And the way I source them is yeah. if – so I do a lot of research in – I'll go online and say, okay, what are going to be the spring trends this year? And, yeah. you know, what's kind of out there in the stores? Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh, that's kind of, you know, that would be really cute. And I see when I look at fabric, I'm like, okay, what can I make out of it? Yeah. Or what would somebody else make out of it? And then if I can picture it being an awesome garment, I, yeah. I stock it in the store. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. So, I mean, if you'll elaborate a little more, because, I mean, the sourcing from another country, that seems really um, tricky. Lots of swatches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes it takes a while to restock the shop because yeah. sometimes I buy sight unseen um, mm-hmm. if I've worked with that company before. But if I've yeah. never worked with the company, I always order a swatch pack from them so that I can wash the fabric. I can mm-hmm. feel it. I can see, you know, kind of see what. And I only – so it's really hard for me to stock dead source. And there's nothing wrong with dead dead source fabric. I think it's a phenomenal way to keep it out of, you know, the earth and it being just thrown away and things of that nature. Cause it, don't waste it. Right. But it's really hard for me to stock dead stock because I don't know what it is. Uh-huh. Is it a really good piece? You know, is it really a good piece of fabric? What is the content really? Because a lot of the dead stock, you, sometimes you don't know what the content of the fabric is yeah. or a lot of it's polyester. Um, and if I do stock polyester in the shop, it's either um, some sort of um, Okio Tech certified, which means that it's, you know, there's no harmful chemicals in it, or it's a very small amount in polyester yeah. just to make that fabric a little bit sturdier. Yeah. Because um, they do that in denim. A lot of denim, some of them carry polyester in it because it makes it a little bit more sturdier Probably, of a fabric. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... Um, that's kind of the reason why I don't stock a lot of polyester. I mean, there's nothing wrong with polyester. It doesn't, it also doesn't breathe. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, I still have the denim I bought for that. I got from you. That mm-hmm. I made my jeans with, and the jeans is still, 
after washes on washes, it's yeah. still standing, just still, just firm, and it fits Yay! fantastic. <laughs> so great Good. job on sourcing great. that. Thank and you. Is, I love it. Like, if you restock it, let me know, and I'll put it in my stories, <laughs> because I can stand here and say those jeans are fabulous. And awesome. the um, knit, um, the cloud knit that I got from you for the oh, sweater yeah. that I made. Oh, awesome. That is still standing. So, you know, Good. knit tends to sometimes stretch. Yeah, it yeah. warps. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So it's still, so I will vouch for that, you guys. Yay, thank you. <laughs> um, so um, how, do you, how do you decide, because I know with the fashion industry, I know they mm -hmm. go through a year at least of um, deciding what's going to be on trend, what fabrics yeah. to sell. I mean, how long in advance do you um, plan this out? And then after you plan mm -hmm. it out, how do you go about deciding what you do want to bring into your store? Mm -hmm. So right now, like the industry is looking already at fall, winter yeah. of 2020. Yeah. All those fabrics are coming out, right? And now yeah. we're in, I mean, there's, so it's crazy the way everything's so forecasted. Yeah. Um, I kind of do it by seasonal. And I also do by patterns. Like as I see patterns come out, I'm like, oh, that would be really good fabrics i stock a lot of viscose and, and rayons because mm -hmm. those are really good summer fabrics yeah. or even in the winter because they're great blouse fabrics yeah great um, layering fabrics yeah, well. yeah yeah you can always layer with them so mm -hmm. um and there's they're really good to sew with they're not very hard they're you know not very difficult to sew with it's a little bit of a learning curve but not like a yeah. huge one um but it's all really trend based and what patterns are coming out and what mm -hmm. kind of goes hand in hand. And if I can picture it in a garment yeah, or it's something that I fall in love with and I want to sew up, I sell, yeah. I stock it that way. Um, so I kind of stock it by my preference and, and also what's on trend at the moment. Do you ever have um, requests come in and as far as like some customers saying, Hey, would you get more of this? or would you get more of that? I do. And those are the ones that I'll keep restocking. Like if it's a really popular fabric, I'll yeah. continue to restock it. Um, but I like to turn stuff over because yeah. I like to kind of switch it up and always, yeah. I love to have some solids and some basics, yeah. but I love a good print. Like I'm obsessed with like a really good print fabric. Yeah. <laughs> I love your tinsel fabrics as well. Thank you. And your cotton twill. I love those mm -hmm. from pants. I still have the um burnt orange I call it. But it's not oh orange. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I still have pieces of them. I'm gonna make it again this fall. Yeah. But I absolutely love it. Um so you know have you thought about opening your own store one day or are you can strictly stay online? So I would my goal is to have a brick and mortar. Um, a timeline for that, I don't, you know, I don't know. Like, I would love to open a brick and mortar in a sewing studio yeah. um, around this area. There's one, there's a couple around here. Um, yeah. There's two main ones, but I would love to put one kind of where there isn't one already. And there's, like, new developments and stuff yeah. that it's just – Rent here is expensive, <laughs> so <laughs> we're mainly mean, online. Located, I'm in um I'm in Northern Virginia, so I live in Aldi, but oh, yeah. yeah, military in area, DC area. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! I know. And I'd so, love to put one in DC because there isn't like Three Little Birds is like right out of DC. They're only yeah. a couple miles outside of DC, but inside of inside of DC. Yeah. There isn't one, but my commute to D.C. would not be fun. It'd be so. great. <laughs> I, know. Um, I know Neff, actually, she's, um, as you'll probably know, the corny rainbow. She yeah. is in Virginia as well. Mm -hmm. so she I'm lives not very her. far from me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Actually, um, a while back, um, when, you know, I, I kind of have a tendency to want to move around a little bit. I guess I'm mm -hmm. used to moving around so much. So I get a little bored in my location. I'm like, hey, what about living in Virginia? Mm -hmm. And then I looked at the mortgages in Virginia compared to Atlanta. I was like, we'll visit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's we so live, yeah. Sticker shock. Like we lived in, or I lived in Florida for 13 years before yeah. we moved here. And it was a huge sticker shock from moving. Because I was in the panhandle of Florida. So I was like lower Alabama. Oh. And then moving from, you know, there to out here, I was like, oh, my God, like, what is going on out here? Everything's so expensive. Oh, well, I moved from Florida, West Palm Beach. I was in okay. um, South Florida, which is really 
expensive. Yeah. I, the, the the HOA there um, per month is what I pay per year here. Oh my god. <laughs> so that was a different for me. It was like yeah. from there to here. It was like you can get this much house. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So it, it was a different thing for me moving from Florida here to where now I've gotten so cheap. Where I'm like, I'm not moving from Atlanta. Like the Lord will have to come and take my hand and say, we're going somewhere. <laughs> then for me to move from that. And so yeah. I do have a question that has been on my mind because I know a lot of mm -hmm. businesses are being affected with the whole Corona situation. Yes. Um, will that will, will that affect um, fabric? You know, especially since you get most of your stuff from Europe. Will that have an effect on that? So right now I have a shipment that's stuck in, um, in customs and I don't know, they emailed me and they wanted more details and I've yeah. had a couple problems with that, um, yeah. where stuff kind of gets stuck cause they want to know what it is. And so, but right now this one's stuck in there and we don't know, or I really don't know why I kind of answered their questions, but okay. we'll see. Right now, everything's still shipping as normal. Yeah. Um, besides that, nothing – like, I've been getting emails from the UPS and, you know, USPS saying that, you know, they're still shipping as normal and there's no really – they're trying to keep going until the state or, you know, tells them they can't ship or can't work anymore kind of deal. Yeah. So um, right now, everything's still shipping business as usual, so that's good. Yeah, it just, you know, they're kind of on your end with the fabric stretch coming out of another country. Mm -hmm. That's just taking a little bit longer. I think so. Okay. Um, but I, I'm hoping this one turns out of customs a little bit quicker, so we'll see. Okay. Um, but for the most part, nobody's really had a delay. Yeah. Even um, Korea, I have some samples coming from Korea, South mm -hmm. Korea, and she's, wasn't having any issues shipping anything. Okay. So. Well, that's good. Because yeah. I know I was worried about, you know, businesses. Um, mm -hmm. that Especially when you say, you know, that we bring a lot of things in from overseas and mm -hmm. from different countries. I was like, yeah. I wonder how this is going to affect. Because I know I buy things mm -hmm. from overseas sometimes because it's less expensive. Yeah. Um, good quality, but less expensive. So yeah. I was like, I wonder how that's going to affect or if they're going to put a ban on you being able to do that at all anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. So far, shipping's fingers crossed. We're still good. <laughs> <laughs> we're still right, we're still good to order fabric. So I'm yeah, you can about still that because right? a lot of sewing companies do you know source out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and not just that, but even the ones that have had to close their doors, actually close their brick and mortar doors, yeah. they're starting to ship now as well. So that's really good because okay. they are able to still kind of keep business. Yeah, keep some business coming in so that way they can still pay their employees and but still abide by, you know, the local rules of closing, you know, recommendations of closing the store. Um, okay. Well so Tammy, that's to, good. to anyone who's just now um hearing of your company, um, is there anything you want to kind of give them information on as far as what's up and coming? your new stock when that's coming available? Oh, yeah. So I have um, some products coming in. I love the new line of meat milk. It is a tinsel line, and then they also carry linen. And yeah. so I have all of their linens coming in. Um, they have some slub linens coming. Those are coming in. And then I have their denims coming in, and I love um, actually, they're not Meat Milk. They're Mind the Maker, so, yeah. which they're sister companies. Um, Mind the Maker and Meat Milk are sister companies. So... Yeah. Um, I order a lot of my stuff from them, and I really like them. Both are great quality denim. Um, and then I also have some viscoses coming in from France soon. So I'm really excited about those because they're super springy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I love them. And flowers. And, yeah. So, so. you know, I'm heading on over to your website after I get off, right? <laughs> <laughs> you said linen. I'm like, spring linen. It's not here linen. yet. It's stuck in customs. It'll no, be here soon. No, I know. No. I know. You and have it's to a message me linen. when they get in. I will. I'll <laughs> let you know. Yeah, because they were supposed to come today, and I'm like, checking the UPS store, yeah. and I didn't make it. But so the denim and the, um, and the tinsels are in, though. So I have a little, I still have some of the Mind Maker darker yeah. denim in. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I do still have some of the tinsel. So um, 
but we have more tinsel um, and then the linen slub coming in. So, and then more denim. Look, we're gonna be stuck here for a while from what I'm I seeing. Know. So you fabric makers, fabric sellers and and notion make um, sellers, you guys get ready because we're gonna be so bored, we're gonna be buying. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm sewing to too, though. I'm like, it's kind of like, I'm taking it all in stride, right? Yeah. Like, okay, we're stuck in the house, but then I'm also kind of trying to look on the brighter side. Like I'm having more time with my kids because my yeah. kids aren't in school. So I'm actually able to spend some time with them since I'm not working. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm at, and then I'm able to spend some more time doing other craft kind of stuff and then also put more time into the business. So trying to look on the brighter side of everything. Look, my kids are a little older and my yeah. daughter, I've had to email her teacher because I said to my, I was saying like they're in class for 45 minutes in each class. Mm -hmm. Why are you all giving them like three, four hours worth of work per day for one mm -hmm. each class? That is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I had to email her teacher and said, look, um, we need family time as well with this yeah. whole thing going on. Like my daughter's yeah. whole thing going on. Like my daughter was up till nine last night and she got online to do her work at about nine thirty in the morning. Oh wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, That's so I emailed too much. the teacher and he said, Well that mummy, she eased up a little bit. We don't have as much work to do today. So I was like, I'm glad because I will hightail my butt over to where I need to go and talk to the <laughs> principal because that is crazy. But I um know. Thank you, Tammy, for joining us tonight. You of guys, course. if you're not following D and H Fabrics, please go and follow them. I have a um, story of um, Tammy in my um, story, so you guys can click on that and take you right oh, to her awesome. page and follow her and check her out and support because she does. I can vouch for her that she has fabulous fabric. I'm still wearing <laughs> the things I bought from her. Awesome. Two years ago. So, awesome. Yay. You guys. Because that's the whole thing of sewing, right? We want to be sustainable. Exactly. We want to get rid of that fast fashion. So in order to be sustainable, you want a garment that lasts exactly. a lifetime. Exactly. Um, and I'm making headbands yeah. out of whatever else is left. Oh, cute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yep. Too. I always, yeah. Use those scrap fabrics. <laughs> right? <laughs> but thank you, Tammy, for joining no, us. No, thank you, I, Faith. I you're so sweet. So I appreciate having me. Oh, no. And thank you for coming on. It's kind of you to say yes. So <laughs> we will be seeing you again, Tammy. Anytime. You have a great night. And don't go bonkers. Stay you either. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. You have a great night. And thank you for watching. Bye, Bye everybody. We'll be back again next Wednesday. Since you're staying in, might as well log on and watch, right? <laughs> exactly. You ain't got nothing else better. No. Right? <laughs> Peel away from the TV. Come watch Faith. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Talk to you guys soon. See you next week. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>